sun was finally starting its descent. Just like always, it casts a warm golden glow across the sky and the road ahead. I dropped down my sun visor slightly, to avert the glare from my eyes. The unblocked rays sit warmly on my wet cheeks as I ease my foot off the pedal slightly, and the car slows down as if it desired to make the most of this moment alongside me. Each curve in the road brought new scenery to life, a picturesque backdrop for the journey. Her laughter, like sweet notes of a familiar melody, danced joyfully in my head adding to the beauty of every moment that we've ever spent here. The soulful voice of Luke Coombs filled the airwaves, accompanied by the low hum of the car's engine. He was always her favourite, and she'd often over-explain the meanings behind his lyrics, reiterating and weaving tales of love, life, heartbreak and success. Sometimes I would hang off her every word, listening intently to every beautiful thought that she had, but for the most part, I would lose any trail of my own, as my soul would fall into her deep pools of emerald as she passionately and excitedly interpreted every sentence as if she was living every moment of it and was feeling every emotion that it conveyed. As we coasted along, I would steal glances at her in the passenger seat. I couldn't help but smile at the way her eyes sparkled with delight as the guitar strummed harmoniously in the background. She'd often send me little snippets of song lyrics. It's like Luke's song was written just about you, she'd say, referring to the little excerpts of his story that reminded her of me, and the way she would lean over and click the repeat button, skipping back to her favourite one, the corners of her mouth cracking upwards as the first notes played, is an image that I could never, ever forget. Her imperfections made her all the more captivating. The way the space between her eyebrows would curl and fold as she was deep in thought, the remainder of a childhood accent told stories of trauma and pain that she had moulded into strength and resilience. The freckles that dusted her cheeks were like stardust, a celestial map leading to secrets only she knew. And oh, the way that the golden hour beams would bounce off her eyes, illuminating them, giving light to the sparkling jade galaxies they held within. We had shared so much here together. Our emotions are practically etched into the very fabric of the roads. The times when I wouldn't be able to hold in a bad joke any longer, and she would scowl at me whilst I fought back my internal laughter, knowing deep down she was doing the same. The stolen glances we shared and the soft touches of our hands and thighs that spoke an eternity of volumes, without ever even uttering a single word. The countless late nights we discussed devious government conspiracies, our adamance of complex life on other planets that has been kept from us and toyed with the possibilities of frightening but fascinating undiscovered creatures that we think roam our forests and oceans, but are yet to be proven. They all play like a vivid reel in my mind. In each of these moments, I saw her as she was. Imperfect and beautiful. We never asked for perfect, and our love was far from it. We were human, riddled with flaws and insecurities, yet it was precisely those imperfections and those deflected traumas that made us appreciate each other all the more. In our togetherness, we found solace and strength, and in our vulnerability, we found an understanding that forged an unbreakable bond. As I find happiness in the image of her sat beside me, twiddling her hair around her finger, lost in her own complex and beautiful mind, I instinctively reach out. I reach for her small, soft hand to share this picturesque moment. I breathe heavily, as my skin is met with the warm sensation of leather. My fingers trace the intricate threading of the seat beside me. My eyes snap back into focus to the view ahead, and I fixate on the upcoming viewpoint where the memory of her is the strongest. As I shakily press against the brake pad, the car slowly squeaks to a halt in our usual spot. My heart weighs heavily in my chest with a mixture of grief and gratitude for every moment that we spent here. Releasing the steering wheel, I turn and gaze one last time at the image of her, laughing, doing that face that she loved where she would bite her tongue. She gazes endlessly into my eyes and shatters every last layer of my shell, leaving me naked, vulnerable, but so helplessly and endlessly enveloped in love. Taking another deep breath, I steal one last gaze at the mirage of the most beautiful soul I had ever met, and weakly pulling on the handle, 
I open the door. Luke's song plays in my head. I try my best to focus on the lyrics that she loved so much as I clench my jaw to stop my lips from trembling. As the door of the car creaks open and her glittering image bursts into a million pieces escaping into the golden world outside, I plant my first foot onto the grassy earth before me and start walking. The scene is set, the story now awaits. The possibilities are endless, and every interpretation will be unique. Now, it's your turn. Over to you. Hello everyone, and thanks for listening. Where is our character heading, and why? What events have occurred that led our characters to this point? Or perhaps this story reminds you of someone you've lost. Either way, we're excited to hear from you in the comments.